Hello and welcome to the Daily Decrypt, episode 24. I am Amanda, your faithful and dedicated servant. Today, Bitcoin is $397. Doge, as I've apparently gotten incorrect every day this week, is actually one one thousandth of one cent. New Bits is a dollar, and Bitcoin Dark is a dollar and one cent. Today's episode is brought to you by Fuck Up Nights. International Business Times reports that payment processor Coinify, you know, kind of like BitPay and Coinbase, has added four additional cryptos to their processing services. So now merchants who use Coinify can accept not only Bitcoin, but also Ether, Ripple, counterparty tokens, and Tether USD. And speaking of Tether USD, Get me off this crazy thing called love. Are you ready to get off this crazy thing called volatility? A kind soul in the cryptocurrency subreddit has written a short guide on cryptos which peg their value to the US dollar. Among them are Tether USD, Bit USD, and Nubits. Now, Tether USD works pretty much like a bank storing dollars on your behalf, so that's a centralized option. But BitUSD maintains its price via a smart contract that is collateralized in bit shares. Conversely, NuBits maintains its pegged price because people in its network called new shareholders strategically manipulate the available supply of NuBits, either contracting or expanding, which manages to keep its price also pegged to the US dollar. CryptoCoins News reports that Nitrogen Sports, which is a Bitcoin betting site for, you guessed it, sports, has received the honor of being the only Bitcoin betting site that's been listed and reviewed by Sportsbook Review. Nitrogen Sports offers wagering on everything from football to baseball to hockey outcomes, and also offers classic games like poker, blackjack, and dice. The crypto research journal Ledger, which is published by the University of Pittsburgh, is offering $200 for an analysis paper written on CryptoNote. CryptoNote is a protocol layer used in cryptos like Bytecoin and Monero. It's used to add privacy to public blockchains by obscuring which addresses send to which other addresses. Monero in particular has taken the CryptoNote technology a step further by implementing what they call view keys. A view key is a second private key held by the owner of an address, and only the holder of a view key can see the transaction history of any given address. This means that transparency of Monero transactions are optional rather than default. A veteran at the Bitcoin Talk Forum named Aze has reported that 37 Bitcoin dark tokens have been paid to stakers this week. 692 stakers on the network to be specific. Like several other cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin Dark's blockchain is generated via proof of stake versus proof of work. Bitcoin Dark in particular plays a vital role in another network called Supernet. And I wanted to tell you about it because I think Supernet is interesting. So Supernet is an early stage development that seeks to be the internet or an internet of blockchains. It's comprised of a literal server federation by developers at NXT, Syscoin, Veracoin, VPN coin, and of course Bitcoin Dark, among others. And Supernet lead developer JL777, cool name, uh, he hopes this networked server federation, along with the Supernet multi-currency wallet, prompts users of various currencies to work together, utilizing the different strengths of their different coins as various situations dictate. As JL777 has said, in crypto, 
the competition is not each other. It is fiat. If any crypto does well, we all benefit. MyCryptoVault.net has published a fun guide describing how you can use a picture, preferably one never published online before, to generate the randomness needed for a new Bitcoin public and private key pair. You import, say, your preschool class picture into Microsoft Paint and generate its 16 color bitmap. Once you've done that, you assign numbers and letters to your photo's 16 colors, and then you view the photo in an 8x8 color grid. This provides the 64 random numbers needed to create a new Bitcoin key pair at bitaddress.org. So just imagine the possibilities, storing $1 million worth of Bitcoin in plain sight. For example, in an awkward family photo hanging on your wall. And perhaps our sponsor, Fuck Up Nights, or Fun, has read F.A. Hayek, who once wrote, Man learns by the disappointment of expectations. Ouch. Check out Fun's website to see if you happen to live in any of the 100 plus cities around the globe where a monthly gathering of folks come together to share and learn from their stories of failure. And that has been your Daily Decrypt. Be sure to subscribe, although I'm sure you have by now. Uh, follow us on Twitter and Facebook if that is your thing. And check out our SoundCloud podcast if you prefer the A to the V. She brought joy unto my soul.